All right, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back. May the Most High bless you. I pray everybody is having a beautiful, blessed day as we give the Most High all the honor, the glory, and all the praise. I just want to talk about um, Revelation for a moment. Um, I had a good question from um, Sister Tisha, um, 48, about Revelation. Um, that's one of my favorite books. Um, a lot of people are scared of Revelation. Well, the Greek name of Revelation is the Apocalypse. Um, we know that. And uh, what that means is uncovering or disclosure. I like to say to reveal. And um, Revelation is past, present, and future. Um, I did all 22 chapters on her, as a matter of fact, um, if you want to catch that. And I always come back from time to time and deal with Revelation because that's a book I'm going to be studying until I get put in the ground. You know what I'm saying? I love I love the Bible, period. But um I was I wanna tell you this, don't be scared uh of revelation. Uh, a lot of people get scared because when they hear the word apocalypse, they think about all kind of bad things and disasters. But if you really read Revelation, Revelation is full of praise and worship. If you look at it spiritually, it's beautiful. Um, the problem is too many people try to look at the Bible, especially Revelations, literally. And they can't see spiritually because they're trying to look at it literally. And when you try to look at the Bible like that, you'll never understand it in that sense. Um, because the Bible is full of signs. As a matter of fact, Revelation uses so many signs, or we could say symbols. And um, they are not to be understood literally, all of them. But when you look at it spiritually once again so when you look at the Bible in general how it have the parables the metaphors I like to say analogies signs, symbols but when the Most High revealed to you what those symbols mean it makes so much sense I heard a lot of people uh, people say Revelation is a mystery book you know the Most High it's a mystery I'm going to tell you something the Most High wanted us to know what Revelation meant that's why it is revealed. And any pastor that tell their people to skip over and they don't need to know revelation, that's a foolish pastor. And I mean it out of love because why teach the beginning if you're not going to teach the end when the end is revealed through the beginning? See, revelation testifies to Daniel, just like Daniel testifies to revelation. You see those visions, they line up. And it's not just the book of Daniel. Revelation is rolled through the Old Covenant. But a lot of people just don't catch it. So um, I wanted to just do this video like this um, because you asked me that question. Um, and really, I'm, I'm going to say this, and I'm trying not to preach. But um, those visions that John was seeing, keep this in mind because if you don't understand this, it's going to be hard to catch Revelation. John was taken up in the spirit on the day of the Lord when he was revealed this notice I said he was taken up in the spirit I didn't say he flew nowhere and he left out he was taken up in the spirit so these are visions past present and future once again and what John was showing us was about the Lord's day uh, my sister a lot of people think the Lord's day is because they went to church on Sunday we go to church every week. How many times you hear, oh, let's give the Lord his time. Today is the Lord's day. We're not going to do nothing but just enjoy the Lord's day, and then we'll worry about the rest of the week on Monday. This is the Lord's day. If that's what you call the Lord's day, you know, I kind of feel sorry for you. Well, give the Lord his time. Today's Sunday, or today is Saturday. Well, that's if that's what you call the Lord's day, but that's not what the Bible is talking about as the Lord's day. Most people don't know that because they just have not really been taught that. I mean, it's in the Old and the New Covenant. Um, but I'm, I'm going to say this too. Revelation is also a prophecy. But here's the number one problem. Let me, let me say this. Too many people out here think of a prophecy as a prediction of the future, and that's it. See, I did a video talking about prophesizing and what it really is. But the original Greek word, prophetia, or the, or some might say, means speaking the mind of the Most High. See, a prophecy may predict the future, or it may not. Prophesizing also is just a simple word for saying teaching. 
That's why when these prophets keep talking about they got a new something new all the time and, and it don't line up with the word of the most time, that's a false prophet. We got a whole lot of prophets out here now, but most of them are just prophets. P R O what? F I T S. You see what I'm saying? Most of them can't even tell you how to get to the end of your street. Somebody catch that later, but let me leave y'all alone with that. But uh, when you look at Revelation, in the first chapter, uh, John writes about things which must shortly come to pass. And the time is at hand. And I'm going to say this. Have you ever noticed, sister, that the book of Revelation never laid out any type of dates nor calendars? But every time you look around, somebody setting another rapture date or telling you Christ coming this day. This going to world going to end on this day. It, it, I'm going to say this. Trying to tell when our Savior is coming, you're wasting your time. Revelation was not rolled to be a date book. And it wasn't rolled to be a fairy tale. So avoid these foolish conversations with people with all this. When you try to use Revelation as a, a, a book for a timetable, you make a huge mistake. And you miss out on what the Bible is really showing. So I was going to just say that, sister, and um, to um, D-Money, um, all the, the rappers. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing a video. I mean, I'm doing a, um, a, a track on Revelation. I'm putting it together now as I speak. I've been working on it for a while. I just ain't said nothing about it. But I'm actually going to do the whole book of Revelation. Just like I taught it on her, I'm doing a rap about it. And I'm a rap every chapter in my own way but using the word of the most high to sum it up so it's going to be 22 chapters but I will shorten it down I already have chapter 1 done but I'll let y'all hear it when I get through with it it's just me explaining revelation in, in, the, in the rap form with using the scriptures so y'all look out for that in the future so um uh, that's my time, y'all. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Take care.